We're here at the Manhood Community College in Selsey, which is a science specialist school. The students and staff here are helping with the technical side of the project. In particular, we need to put the RFID tags inside the pebbles, which means the pebbles have to be drilled. That's done by a specialist water jet cutting machine. But first, you need to fix the pebbles in a regular grid so the machine can be programmed to drill holes in precise locations and to make sure the pebbles don't move about when they're being drilled. Fixing the pebbles isn't straightforward. Dan Payne is the technology teacher here. Dan, thank you very much for talking to us and to the school and students for allowing us to film here today. Can you run through what you and your students have come up with as a solution to this problem of getting the pebbles ready for the water jet? OK, our main problem was the fact that there's a variety of different shapes and pebbles. Um, so what we come up with was using our CAD CAM machine, which is actually a CNC router, which is over there, um, we thought that the best thing we can do is cut a generic template that we could place each pebble into. That generic template, as you can see from the room, is a whole set of different circles that we can then place our pebbles into. After we'd made and cut these circles on our CNC router, we're then layering up those different pieces. This jig here enables us to put all the different size pebbles into the generic holes and then seal the whole unit. After we've sealed the unit, we're going to place expanding foam to ensure that there's no anomalies and no errors to make sure that each pebble is fixed in a certain position. Because the issue we have is we don't want too many pebbles to move when the water cutting jet is going to place a hole straight through the middle. So we're going to fill the whole lot with expanding foam to make sure that our jig is nice and firm and stiff so that every single pebble has a hole cut straight through by the water cutting machine. And hopefully from the work that we've been doing, we will have a successful jig that will hold all different pebbles and different shapes and sizes in place ready for the water cutting machine, therefore enabling us to place our RFID tags inside the pebbles to be placed on Selsey Beach. So Dan, how long have you been working on this project? Uh, we started at the uh, end of January, um, so we've been working best part of this term. Um, initial stages were on the designing, using our CAD CAM machine to um, create our templates for what you see now. Obviously the longest process is cutting each of these holes individually. Um, over the 470 or pebbles that we're looking at, um, we've got to cut three different layers of holes for each one, so that's what takes the time. So I've been working on it since the beginning of January, and it's now March, so it's, it's quite a lengthy process, but we're quite successful so far. And how many students are there in the class that have been working on this? There's only 11 of us. So obviously, um, work from myself and the 11 students, so we've been running a little production line. Each student has their own role and own job, and that seems to speed the process up, especially now they've got into it the last couple of weeks, it's been going quite fast. Right, thanks very much for speaking to us, Dan. I must say the, the results look terribly impressive. We're really keen to get these on the water jet cutting machine and get those pebbles cut. So thank you very much. You're welcome.